Oh, fuck me. I missed the building. Landed on them, but... I'm fucking dead. Really? No, you're not getting that. Why are you wow. even asking? Get brain, bitches. Fuck them up. As well. I need a site for... No, I need to update my card because I got a new one. Damn, I had to get a new one. Oh, fuck, running you guys out. are I moving. Fuck. I was not paying attention. Vehicle coming up behind. What's up, then? Vehicle coming up behind. Get him, girl. He's alone. Oh! You disgusting. That takes so many grenades, dude. Okay. Woo! Woo! Way, like, behind that. Ooh. Oh, really? Yo, I got a fury- I got a fury kill, all of them being headshots in a nasty spawn trap. It was so nice. That's what he gets for hitting me. Right there, that's what he gets. Three snipes. Boom! Back in the, uh, deli. I've already got one. I sit rep. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. Good morning. We're back at it again with some more, man. Some more, some more, some more. Um, yeah, we ended up yesterday in Blackwater, so we're going to continue this morning there. Uh, we're going to go down that middle path that I, like, somehow mysteriously opened because I got super lucky. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go down that path. We're gonna check some of that stuff out. And then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see where we get to from there. So, I mean, that's, that's about what I got today. Um, yesterday was crazy, dude. We had a lot of subs. We had a couple of raids. Like, it was, it was crazy, man. It was super crazy. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's about all I got, man. Um... I found a couple things that I had to pick up. But yeah, let's let's switch over and let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. So yeah, we're in uh, Blackwater. It's kind of like this futuristic underground area. And what's super funny about it is there is these bracers that I cannot wear. Where'd they go? I picked them up. Are they just in, like, junk or something? Oh, here they are. Blasting bracers times two, one to eight damage. Um, these bracers are Numerian technology. You cannot equip them. They're not even worth anything, it doesn't look like. It's like my game's having issues this morning. Oh, uh, well, it's really not. Will this door open? I'm here all week. 
Well, shit. Move out. All right, let's see what buffs are still active. All right, so we still have Bless. What does she still have on? She doesn't have her hurricane bow. So. I was expecting some fucking bullshit. Oh, here we go. My game just, there we go, okay. What the fuck is going on this morning, man? Those things look so weird. Okay, so... I will resist. Yeah, she's not getting the sneak attack, so I have to, uh... I definitely have to do the other thing. Actually, I am going to, uh... Go ahead and give us a, uh... give us that um i really don't need any heals or anything but i could actually i can't i can't summon anything i can summon these summon a shit ton of skeletons man I just noticed that guy over there. Can I charge him? You can't even charge him, dude. Die. Okay. Do not hold back. Does she still have her damage reduction on? No. Oh, man. Damn it. Why do they always got to do that on him? Alright. Oh, shit. I don't have it anymore. Um... Okay, this this vampiric touch shit on on Max not cool. You know what? How about we pillar of life his ass? Yeah, y'all can go ahead and stand on that shit. Oh damn, his AC is 41, dude. Strike as one. Um The inheritor. Guide my blade. Uh, ooh, F not. Oh, I think the enslaved soul worked. That worked. Alright, this damn succubus is annoying as shit. Um, let's go ahead and uh, start summoning some people. What up, Dark Zara? What is up, man? Oh, that's not cool. Um. Attack. 
Same old, same old, huh? Can I smite more than one person? No. No glory without risk. Uh, ooh, that's not I don't really like that marauder, to be honest. Desna, guide my hand. All right, that worked. Wait, he's not dead. Um. Remove regen. Okay, electricity. Got it. Got it. Uh, I can't summon. Yeah, I can. That's my second summon for these. There it is. Okay. Dude, they are fucking him up, man. Wow, I missed every fucking attack. Uh. So, what weapon does Sela have? I don't remember. I think she's got a lightning weapon. Blessed weapon enhancement plus three. Deals. No, that's a corrosive weapon. Okay, shit. I just want to keep him knocked down for a minute. Fuck. Alright, well, he's not dead. Make your peace. So, I have a lightning attack, right? Jolt. There it is. Okay. And now all the succubuses are coming at me. Um, oh, come on. I can't even charge him, bro. And I can't hit shit, apparently. I'm done with you. I will resist. Um, actually. I need to keep moving backwards with Lorathon. These guys are actually hurting. Um, all right, so he's still not dead dead, but what we can do is hit him with a heal. Dude, I hit him with 124 heal. And like... The fuck? Alright, can I actually hit this dude, please? Thank you. Can you stop going after him, bruh? shall survive this ordeal. We shall overcome. Do not hold back. Thank you. Fucking get exploded. Prepare yourself. I'm literally trying to kill the one right in front of me. Um I'll just have to resort to brute force. Oh, he's about to go down. Yeah, I fucking knew that was going to happen. 
All so that I can kill the dude. Where is my breath of life? Does Phantasmal Killer work on these guys? I don't even care if I take the hit from the other one. Oh, you fuck. Strike as one. I'm doing like no damage to these things. Alright. I just, I want to get one of these things dead. There we go. There we go. Alright, and then with him, we'll finish this bitch off. Wait. Oh, shit. Hold on. It's probably something different. No, it's electricity. Okay. Oh, I had a critical miss. Got it. Got it. Okay, so... I need to keep healing. I'm just, dude, I'm just so glad that I've got the healing that I have on him. That should have, that should have killed that. Especially with electricity. God, I suck, dude. I can't hit that shit for nothing. We shall overcome. Their AC is fucking insane compared to my my other dude. All right, let's finish her off. There we go. All right. Don't critical miss. There we go. That's a dead one. I don't think I've got anybody else that can do electricity damage. No, but with him, I can go ahead and keep healing people. While we're in combat, I might as well. H how is she not dead? How is she not dead? Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do this and go this. Um, watch me heal that fucking thing. Yep. Fuck me. The inheritor, guide my blade. That works. That works. It keeps her down. I will resist. Oh. So isn't there like a thing that if you go to like double what their actual HP is, they die or some shit. Unlock the fortified door. Yes, okay. Coup de gras. Oh, I can coup de gras when they're down there like that? I didn't know if coup de gras actually worked while they were down. I thought it only worked when they were like... Um, like asleep or something. Please allow me. Asleep slash stunned, and they're they're technically in a stunned state at that point, correct? Okay, I got you. I appreciate it, man. Dude, there's still a lot that I'm learning. There's still a lot that I'm learning. Let's move already. Like, sometimes I feel really dumb for not knowing some of the stuff. But, like, I never really got, like, super... Super, like... Into how to do some of the shit, if that makes sense. Like... Like, what kills what super fast and all that stuff. Like, I just did these basic bullshit builds. Um, Alright, so... 
I think before I go in there, What's I want to do some buffy buffs oh, again. I Our time has come. Didn't I put a belt on him that was strength? No, it's a dex and con. Okay. When you play at higher difficulty, you need to learn all those dirty tricks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and and that's an <laughs> that's why I'm kind of like not playing at a super high difficulty right now. Because I figure the more I go through it, like the more I actually go through it, the more I'll learn if that makes like if that makes sense. I was about to say, there's no way that door's gonna open. Onwards. That fucking door opened, though. Prepare yourself. See, these guys only have 38 AC. I mean, we're still missing like a mofo, though. Dude, I just... I can't do, like, my greatest ability. It's insane. Alright. I'm gonna give this dude... the what for. And then wait here. Hopefully, yep. Okay, that's what I wanted him to do. Yep, yep, yep. Um, now that I got that back, I'm gonna step him over here. Do not step. hold back. That probably just fucked with my charge on him. Go ahead and smite this dude. See, smiting gives me the big bonus um, with her because it gives me it gives me um, shit. What's it called? I have these like gloves on or these bracers on that gives me a bonus when you smite. Yeah, it fucked with my charge. It shouldn't have fucked with my charge, though, because he's not really blocking me. Alright, now that everybody is, like, in the zone here... Yeah, so their reflex and their will... Reflex, will, and touch are all shit on those guys. So, strike as one. All right, let's 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 kill this one first if I can. Seventy-eight for sneak attack damage, dude. Seventy fucking eight. Thank you. Okay, now I start hitting him with with lightning with the other guy, and then... I don't really want to do all that. I do need to actually heal him. Yep, that works. Dude, I miss a lot right now. Uh, 
It's a good thing I fucking healed him. Yeah, it's a good fucking thing I healed him, dude. To be honest, we just have too much shit that's doing negatives to us. Are you still here? Run them through. Cause like I'm not even I'm not even hitting this bitch. Like let me let me take a second. Alright, that's fine. Go ahead and do your thing. Let me take a second and see what's actually going on here. So I rolled a four. I needed a th fucking 41. Rolled a four. So technically, I would need an 11 to get to 40. I would need to roll a 12 to actually hit his his AC. Yeah, I would need a 12 to hit his AC. Dude, holy shit. So his natural armor is 13. Then he's got plus four for cyborgization, plus four for a force shield, armor plus four, dexterity bonus plus ten. What the fuck, bro? And old Greg's only got a modifier of 21. Yeah, so... And I'm even getting a plus four from the spear. And still missing. <laughs> See, that one should have hit, though. Oh, it did hit. That one did hit for 33 damage. Yeah. But see, I can't get a touch attack with... I can't do a touch attack with a freaking... Uh, with a Cavalier, bro. Oh, hold on. I need to finish killing this dude. Alright, that dude's dead. We shall overcome. Well, not to mention this motherfucker's got mirror image. There we go. Dude, she kicks ass, bro. Um Yeah, I need to heal Mac. And it's probably from a freedom of movement spell. Yeah. Alright, so. Okay, so I did something that I don't normally do, and I wanted to go ahead and pop. I used my skill with him on the succubus. <laughs> um, I used challenge with him on the succubus and it gives him a negative two penalty to his armor class so that didn't seem to work though so it's supposed to give him a negative two penalty to his armor class it only gets worse here right um I mean, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's fine. Okay, so... Damn it. Oh, it's shift plus. Okay. Uh... Cavalier's melee attacks deal extra damage whenever the attacks are made against the target of his challenge. This extra damage is equal to the Cavalier's level. Cavalier can use this ability once per day at the first level, plus an additional time for every three levels beyond the first. Challenging a foe requires much of the Cavalier's concentration. To ca oh, I take a negative two penalty to armor class, except against attacks made to the target. Okay, so all I do is extra damage. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, so all I do is extra, extra damage. I thought I thought I was getting them negative two to their armor armor class, but I was wrong. I was one hundred percent wrong. He says, fun fact, somebody paid them a thousand dollars to do this dungeon. That's insane. Little Calling upon your extensive knowledge, you hypothesize that these humming boxes are the brains of the hive of the machines around you, the place where their memory and knowledge are stored. Yeah. I must accept my failure. I don't have that skill. That's kind of crazy that somebody paid a grand, though, just to get a dungeon put into the game, you know? So, it's, oh, it is used magic device, okay. My expertise prevails. You realize that the knowledge of the camp around you is stored and processed in the depths of this machine. It contains information on the workings of the camp's machinery, as well as previous attempts to storm the compound. That posed little challenge. Uh, with that money, they also owed him an item of his choice. So you'll find an absolutely useless cool helmet in this dungeon that he asked to be modeled. It has no stats. That's fucking funny. Alright, where am I at? Okay, well I guess this opens that door. Sounds like another... Weird fucking door over there. Oh, hi guys! You and your fucking poison swords! This dungeon just doesn't make sense with the rest of the game, to be real. hit me pretty fucking hard. Alright, so what what do I need to kill this dude? Oh, he's got ten oh okay, electricity. Strike as one. Die Get fucked, bro. I guess, oh, it's another one of those fucking doors. Move out. This dungeon's so fucking weird, man. Before I touch anything, I save. I don't want to touch something and get fucked up. Uh, we're gonna use uh, his angel to touch the door. What happened? Oh, that's cool. All right. There's a decent amount of miscible content in this dungeon if you fail X thing. It also has a ton of cool magic stuff for not missing it. Dude, I, I literally have been saving, like I save before I do any of the any of the things. You know what I'm saying? So like before I will touch these panels, access the door controls, I'll end up saving the game. That way if I fail it, I can go back and do it again. Like I know it, it's stupid, but like 
I used to just go ahead and let it go. And like what it was is what it was. But I'd rather pass the checks now and find the cool shit, you know? I lead. You follow. Okay, that's locked. Like lockpick cutting in a certain order gets you all the rooms, but you can waste the fuel. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't know what you're talking about. But okay. Yeah, I don't know. But you can see that I, I literally picked up everything. Onwards. What the fuck is going Chief Kahara? Uh, augmented incubus. Incubus. Uh, fuck me sideways, bro. Um, okay, hold on. Rely on me. Let's see what we got going. We have hearty meal and bless still. Um, her archon aura is gone. I feel like a chosen one. He doesn't have another archon aura. Um. No, oh, he still got the bull on him. Uh, da -da -da -da. My worth. Battles away. Together we stand. Here we go again. What else do I need from him? Don't need magic weapon. I guess I could use good weapon here. Good weapon here. Good weapon here. I mean, I can just use his own thing here. Never stop learning. Get back, bro. <laughs> she just got shit on. <laughs> oh, she literally just got shit on, bro. So it comes to this. Damn you. Um, I'm going to take him and like block this dude. And then I'm going to take her and block this dude. And then can I actually charge this guy? No, but I can challenge him and go hit him. Pretty sure this dungeon is meant with real time in mind. Yeah, I don't know, man. I like I like turn based. I really do. I like turn based. Turn base is my shit. You made your choice. Get fucked! You're dead. Alright, so there's a horse. Yeah, yeah, he's hurt. I have to heal him. Um not breath of life. We'll we'll use Oh, you know what? Fuck it. There we go. That works. Which is weird, since all other dungeons are made with turn base. Yeah, that's weird. Especially if they're made with that in mind. It is weird. Alright, so I'm going to click this bad boy. 
Attack! And go beat the shit out of him. Or maybe not. I'll just miss. That's cool. The inheritor. Guide my blade. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna use that turn to go ahead and do extra damage. Oh, you fucking... You fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. Run them through! Why you always gotta attack Mac? That's some fucked up bullshit right there, bro. Um... Who's got it? <laughs> get fucked! Get fucked, you invisible fuckers! fucking 41 AC. So, I have to fucking finish doing what I was doing here. Ascending... Oh! Make your peace. I mean, we'll just... We'll just fucking miss. That's cool. That's cool. Fucking bitch. <sighs> you fucking bitch. Oh. Oh yeah, we're we're okay, yeah, that's fine. Here we go. You and your shit spell resistance, bro. Um, he's not actually dead. Come on. You were hitting him just fine earlier, and now it's like, ah, oh, critical miss. Critical fucking miss. <laughs> you have a fucking 24 modifier, and you're still missing. Get the fuck out of here, bruh. Um... Alright, so I just shut that one off. Get up there, demon. Go fuck him up. You know what? Oh, they have a high spell resistance, dude. Uh, their reflex is 21, their will save is only 13, so... Um, I tried. <laughs> Kingmaker actively screws you over if you aren't a hundred percent lawful good. That wasn't a hundred percent lawful good. Kind of like, I went good, but I didn't go, like, crazy good. Prepare yourself. 
See, there we go. Wait, she only got one attack. That's fucking rude. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. You know what? I'll give everybody that's within range out flank. That works out for me. Um... These big bitches seem like they're one of the hardest to fucking kill, man. They really do. I'll put that up there to help kill those things. Um... Okay. Well, yeah. See, I didn't know that. Are you still here? Oh, there's use magic device checks here too. Attack! Those things got a lot of fucking HP, bro. The Guide my blade. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Now start fucking these guys up. Or don't. Or don't. That's cool. I'm, dude, I'm so glad when they go after that fucking guy. Versus going after Mac. Um... Yeah. Get fucking wrecked, bro. Get fucking wrecked. Whap. Oh, there it is. There it is. Why are you standing back up, bro? Chief Kahara, we can still do this. After a coughing fit, the warrior wipes the blood from her lips. Her hand moves lightly. Without the artificial stiffness you've, you've observed in the behavior of the other enemies here, but her head has been mutilated in the same way as everyone else's. The top of her skull has been removed, and the thin barbs of the crown she's wearing go right into her exposed brain. Who are you? I am Kahara. Uh, Ka wait, is that? Yeah, Kahara. Chieftain of the Blackwater Clan. She regards you with a proud defiance. There's no trace of the cold indifference in her eyes that you've seen in the other guards. And you, outsider, have assaulted my home and threatened our great mission. You haven't lost your mind like the other occupants of this place. If you don't resist the circlet, it won't smother your mind. It's tough. Tough to feel someone else's will entering your consciousness. Tough to give up the freedom of, to control your body. Like a cold hand sinking into your head, sifting through your thoughts with its slimy fingers. <clears throat> For a moment, her defiant expression fades and you catch a glimpse of disgust and fear. But I readily accepted this fate and I'll gladly endure any torment as long as it brings us closer to victory. What's your mission? To defeat the demons. We're gathering an army that can march on Iz and exterminate the Abyssal Spawn. Poor souls like you who wander into our camp become invincible soldiers. Only they are capable of prevailing in this war. No mere mortals, not even the gods themselves, can stop the world wound. That means we are mortal kind's last chance. We possess great magical weapons. Our bodies no longer know pain and our hearts know no fear. Our minds are bound by the master's will and discipline. Cast your blade down at his feet, let him touch you, and you'll join with us as a true savior of Galarian. Why'd you attack me? Hundred Face identified you as a threat to the mission. We are executing his command. Your life is unimportant as ours, as are ours. All that matters is the success of the mission. Is that Rick and Morty? Uh, dude, I don't even watch Rick and Morty. In and out, quick 20 minute adventure. The second picture is him crying at six days of pain. Oh. Yeah, I don't I don't know much about Rick and Morty, dude. I don't I don't I don't watch him. I just I don't I don't know. 
There's grief in her eyes, but unswerving devotion in her words. The last hope of Sarkoris, a great thinker and strategist. When the demons came and our clan was in its death throes, nobody answered our call. The other clans chose to save themselves. Our neighbors turned their backs on us, and the gods. Even our gods did not answer, because they were afraid. They hid like cowards. Oh boy, it was a bad idea. And then Hundred Face came, a stranger from Numeria, who did not know us and owed us nothing, but unlike the others, he was willing to help. He was looking for allies, desperate people who would agree to anything, people like us. The Blackwater clan rejected the taboos of our ancestors, cursed the traitor gods, and accepted the mage's help. And now, with his aid, we'll, we will defeat any foe and save Sarkoris. What are you and Hundred Faces doing here? We've been building an army. Ordinary mortals can't hope to fend off demons. Uh, our bodies are fragile and our hearts are fickle, ready to betray us at the crucial moment. Nothing of this world could give us the power we needed, but Numerian machines <laughs> are not of this world, and they are capable of so much more than our pathetic blades and meager magic. My tribesmen became the first volunteers in the ranks of the Hundred Faces army, but not the last. Soon we will purge all of Sarkoris of the taint. Uh, free our brethren from the demon's yoke and prove our sacrifice has not been in vain. Hundred Faces has destroyed your clan, turned them all into monsters. We gave ourselves up willingly. We had to. And I was the first to let myself be crowned with a circlet. Yes. It was excruciating and horrifying when the blades dig into the bone, when the probes sink into the brain. That is when one begins to know true terror. Some surrendered to their fear at the last moment. They tried to resist. They begged for mercy. But we would not allow them to bring shame upon us all. I personally placed circlets upon the heads of the doubtful, a heavy, bloody burden that could only be carried by the clan's chieftain. So you chose to exist as mechanical puppets. You would judge us? Have you ever seen demons butcher entire villages? Mothers being lashed with whips and forced to run the length of a palisade, their bleeding children impaled atop it? Have you seen demons cut off a warrior's manhood just to mock him, or slice the breast off a brave woman? Have you ever watched a giant monster slowly devour a human being, leisurely chewing on them while they're still alive? Uh, I have, and I must put an end to this. The end justifies any means. We can do this. We won't give up. Whatever the cost, we'll pay it. For your clan as well, shame on you. Betray them. The torment I've endured, all sacrifices my clan has made. They have all been in the name of loyalty. You simply do not know the meaning of true despair and unwavering devotion. But Hundred Face will guide you. Sarkoris so fell long ago. You're all slaves to a cunning mage, killing in the name of a dead nation. Sarkoris so has fallen. But how? That's impossible. Hundred Faces would have told us. There must be survivors. There must be some resistance. It couldn't have happened. Everything we've done, no, it can't have been for nothing. I refuse to believe you. Sarkoris lives, and so do we. The preparations are almost complete, and soon we will drive the accursed demons back into the abyss. Our poor brethren, suffering under the oppression of the world wound, are waiting for us to come to their rescue, and we will come. We will. Um, how could anything be clear to you? You have only heard our story, not lived it. You don't know our anguish, the pain of our sacrifices. Uh, who do you see before you? A monster? A traitor? So naive. But hundred faces will soon reveal the truth to you. Then you'll understand me. <sighs> Bye, bitch! Okay, so... My expertise prevailed. This machine is like an insatiable but undiscriminating bibliophile. Uh, one that greedily absorbs whatever knowledge it can and stores it in its memory. Dude, this is literally like the weirdest dungeon ever. 
expertise prevail. Brought to life by electricity, this machine clearly has the capacity to think. Its acute senses are gathering information from every corner of the camp. Move out. Okay, so is there nothing else back here? Kind of curious what's up with these augmented workers. Okay, well, that's locked. Did my game literally just freeze? What the hell is going on? Should I? I will see this through. What's going on here? Oh, fuck me. <sighs> I didn't want to sit there and make them all fight me so let's go back in here and do this we will win this war should I hmm I will see this through I mean he's got like seven of them so awaits us. Alright, so... This room is closed. Maybe it's not. It's open now. Maybe it's not. I lied. Um. Hmm. Did this door open up? It did, it did. Do not oh, Do fuck not me sideways. Paper. I don't like these big bitches, dude. You're just gonna, you're, you're gonna hang back for a minute, man. We'll, we'll do this. Then you can just, you can just hang back for a minute. Let, let's, let's grab that aggro, bro. I got this. Or not. Die. I will resist. Oh, okay, she doesn't have that going on anymore. The light take you. Yeah, I'm gonna actually attack with the tanks attacking this time around. I don't like every time they do that enslaved soul bullshit. Yeah, see? That's annoying. Now, don't I have... I do. Prepare yourself. 
to the fray. Okay. I could summon that. Uh, no. Get broke! Damn you! That enslaved soul bullshit. Just that is some bullshit. The inheritor. Guide my blade. Dude, blurring the horse is actually fucking amazing. Like it seems to it seems to do some good shit, man. Attack. Cause like with my tank dude, blurring blurring out the horse has has here? literally increased its survivability like tenfold. Obviously he's gonna go after Mac. Why don't you have one horse for every ally? Because I don't have every ally with Desna, the hand. companion shit. Would be sick though. Dude, that's just a lot of fucking horses. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't have every ally with the companion thing. Like technically I can make an entire like I could make an entire party of cavaliers, but then, like, there would be a lot of shit missing. There would be a lot of shit missing. Okay. So, is there supposed to be... Okay, you said something about there was supposed to be a torch, right? Let me, let me go back and see if I, if I missed anything. Well, yeah, there's, there's paladins, there's probably fighters, there's all that shit. So, where would... I, honestly, I don't think that I missed anything, to be real with you. I can only hold five at a time, okay. What, down in here? See, I promise you, I didn't see anything. Oh, 
Oh, what the fuck? Alright, this door was locked before. What opened the door? Oh. It's because I have the Chief Kahana fucking thing. No one stands in my way. <laughs> Dude, do you guys see what I'm seeing with Sila on the horse? That's the paladin on the horse. Like, I will help where I the can. fuck, bro? Hundred faced circlet, a mechanical circlet that turns mortals into obedient service servants of the sinister hundred face. This device has not yet crowned anyone's head and has not been. Mm -hmm. I should put it on somebody. Storm Lord's resolve, huh? The wearer of these bracers has the ability to cast spells spontaneously. It grants them the ability to cast the following spells. Jolting Portent, Call Lightning, Lightning Bolt, Chains of Light, Call Lightning Storm, Chain Lightning Storm Bolts. To cast a spell, the wearer needs to have a spell slot of the required level. It also grants the wearer an electric shield that deals 1d6 plus wearer's level electric damage each time an enemy lands a hit against the wearer. Um, wh what? Question. Um, fuck me, dude. The question is, do I switch out for those? Because, like... Like, that's fucking amazing. Um, Anyone require my counsel? Oh, okay, I get you. So, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So, how do I actually use what they say they can do? So, I'm kind of curious. If I throw a fucking fireball, is it going to be a lightning ball instead of a fireball? Because that would be cool as shit. Together we stand. Let's see, this ring of protection plus three grants the wearer an ability to avoid magical and unusual attacks with great willpower. The character makes a successful will saving throw, attacks against an attack that normally deals half damage on a successful save. Instead, they take no damage. A hopeless character does not gain this benefit. The fuck, bro? So she's got a ring, ring of protection plus four. Um, he's got a ring of protection plus two, so if I switch out my ring of protection plus two for will, technically charisma is a will save, right? Which would actually make it better for her. So, should I get rid of one AC? one AC for a better will save. 
I think so. It still looks like fireball, but it does lightning damage. That's fucking awesome. No reason to pause. Okay, so let's save, save, save. We're gonna put Sela back on her horse. We will win this war. I have to remember to buff too before I uh Oh, the crates are full of gleaming components covered in foul smelling dark oil. Numerian symbols are arranged with compulsive precision. Alright, so... This dungeon's kind of cool, but it just doesn't make sense. Like, it doesn't go with everything outside. It does not go with everything outside. It seems my expertise was not enough. You know what I'm saying? How does it go with everything outside? Like, so the, okay, the, the lore goes with the things outside, but I feel like the futuristicness doesn't go with the rest of the game. I must accept my failure. I mean, I guess you guys are right. It's just weird. It's just, like, so, okay. So the whole reason I think it's weird is because, like, you've got these futuristic it fucking computers, right, that don't really fit in with the rest of the world? So, like, how is Numeria that much more technologically advanced than everyone else? You know what I'm saying? Like, how are they that much more technologically advanced in a medieval-style setting? My Jesus day. Christ, stop fucking failing, dude. Got you, got you. Sorry if I'm asking dumb questions, it's just, it's fucking weird, man. What up, Mac? They didn't get the shit from Medieval Earth, right? <laughs> right? It seems you motherfucker, it seems dude! Stronger. Roll better! This is like number five. Number five! Fifth time's a charm. What's up, Mac? Dude, I like seeing you guys with my... my, uh... my sub logo next to your name. This shit's awesome. Prevailed. That was the first time I ever did it. You guys can't, like, there, there's no recording, I promise. After pressing the button a couple of times, a message flashes on the device's screen. Psionic shielding tools, storeroom one. Further attempts shield nothing more. Uh. Yeah, you can't prove that I did that more than once. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Fuck. Yeah, you can. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. I didn't know if I was going to be able to stream today, because, uh... The wife wasn't feeling good this morning. Wand of call lightning. Move out. Yeah, the wife was not feeling good. Oh, wait, is that it? That's a book. That's a fucking book. Um, for the purpose of improving the results further, complete removal of the temporal lobes. Yeah, see, here's the thing. I, I didn't miss anything. Hello. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> you're right, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Where the fuck is this thing that you're making me go get? I don't see anything down here, dude. Nothing. There's no torch. 
I think I think you're full of shit, sir. I think you're full of shit, sir. You know, I think I'm full of shit, sir. It's unlikely that this device was designed to open locked doors, but it is perfectly suited to that purpose. Drawing in gas from the connected metal flask with a low whine, the flame lockpick releases the extreme of white hot flame, heating and quickly vaporizing metal. But see, I don't remember it using any any lockpick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't remember it using any lockpick at all to open anything. Like, the main doors that I've actually opened are these. Like, all of these doors and shit. There's a little hissing sound when you open doors with it. Oh, okay. Well... Maybe no I did fuck up. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I didn't. I guess I didn't catch it. To be honest, I actually have to mage armor myself now too, and then blur this horse. I'm prepared. I will see this through. I am here all week. A bright future awaits us. You call? I want to make sure both of these guys are. Oh nope, they were not both the fighting fucking defensively. I will not falter. Only two of the lockpick doors drop insane magical weapons. You loot something like a bomb and use it on the door. If I recall correctly, there's another lockpick fuel charge late in the dungeon, possibly after the boss. So I, I've looted like three or four things that look like bombs. I don't know where they would actually be, though. But yeah, I remember looting three or four things that did look like bombs. I'm assuming they would have been back here, too. Oh, yeah, see right there. Numerian bomb. The acid room you heard earlier in that room in the exact middle bottom of the map. If you find more fuel, then try those. Yeah, see, this this is the... Numerian bomb is the only item that doesn't open doors that you find. Well, fuck me. Okay, we already know that these fucking salamanders are gonna fight us, so I'm gonna put my people like this. Put him right there. Take her. And fucking hit this one. Dude, did you did you see what I did though, Star Lord? I guessed the fucking code. Like, didn't look it up. I guessed that shit. Like, it was just pure dumb fucking luck. It was pure dumb luck that I inputted the right code. I got this. Yeah, no, I'm I'm dead fucking like I'm dead serious. Like, it was pure dumb fucking luck, dude. Like, I inputted that shit, like, so fucking fast. It was funny. Like, I believe it was funny as shit. Damn, he hurt. Fucking die, bro. Hey! Dude, sometimes she's a fucking beast. I deemed a friend. What is the code? And he, as he was replying, 
Dude, that's fucking awesome, though. That is awesome. Damn you! I think it was, uh... I think it was rhombus, or it was, it was triangle, rhombus, circle with a dot, I think is the code. Not have been in that exact order, but I know it was. I know it was those three. Well, you got to know. Circle with the dot must be the key. Onwards. Component for hundred faces circle. It was just, dude, it was just so funny, because, like, so, I was standing, like, I hadn't even opened the side doors yet. I was standing here at the console, and just fucking, just messing around with it, because, like, I saw that it said there was, like, a bloody fingerprint on the rhombus or some shit. So I was sitting there just messing around with it, and it kept going click, 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 and then, like, it would stop. And I was like, alright, so that's not right. So then I just hit three. I was like just hit the three and the fucking thing opened and Dark Zara is like, you just skipped half the fucking dungeon. I was laughing my ass off, dude. That shit was great. Okay, this fucking door is locked. There's a perception check right there. No, open the fucking door, bro. All right. What a, what at first appears to be a hatch of rust is revealed upon closer inspection to be an old blood stain spread across a wide drain. So apparently, I passed the perception check. Let's. Got this one. The anatomical drawing, replete with stomach-turning details, sets out how to crown a victim with sinister barbed circlet. <sighs> Flame lockpicking fuel. Okay, so I just got some fuel. All right, I just got some fuel. So we're gonna like, which one should I actually open? All right. Mutilated head shows that an attempt was made to place a circlet on the victim's head, but they did not all survive the agonizing operation. Um, that posed little this machine is used for healing and provides the healer with information about the patient pet. Yeah, patient's current condition. All right, save. Sorry, I'm saving after every time, but it is what it is. The corpse under the sheets is one of the defenders of this place. All right, so honestly, do the room that hisses with acid. It contains the second best weapon in this dungeon. But is there another room that has more fuel, though, is the question. Yomade, embolden my spirit before my death. Hey, are you alive? You're, you're not one of the hundred faces servants. You don't have one of those accursed circlets. Praise Yomade. I prayed someone would come and help me. Please end my suffering. Well, help, we'll help you, sister. You're not alone. A sister in faith. Oh, praise the goddess. I'd abandon all hope ever seeing a friendly face again. What's your name? Athara Vons, corporal in the Mendevian army. Our squad was lured to this place. We were on forward patrol when we met a man. He told us that a group of slaves had escaped the demons and taken shelter in this camp. He said they had many wounded who needed help. Once we entered the camp, we had no way of leaving. Where are your comrades? They have all fallen. When we realized we were trapped, we tried to fight our way to the heart of this compound, but we stumbled upon some magical device that seemed to incinerate 
mines, we had to stop and take up defensive positions nearby. We were holed up there for two days while our wizard tried to find a way past it. But the abominations came and picked us off one by one. They deliberately avoided killing us. They just wound up or wounded us enough to cripple us. And then later, the ones they'd taken came back with their heads cracked open. They didn't recognize us. They carried out someone else's will, shouted someone else's words. But the voices, they were the voices of my friends. When I alone was left and they came for me, I just couldn't. I couldn't end their lives, damned cowards. Or damned coward. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. And they made me into this. Now you can use it as much as you like, and then just come back with the items. It's a good thing you're saving before a recent update that computer locks you out of the dungeon related story item if you use it once without the required items. Ah, oh, dude, that sucks. What did they do to you? They cut open my skull and shoved this thing into my head to control me. And then, oh, those sadists know every flavor of pain. They tore me open and shoved their vile machines into my body, then sewed me up just to start tearing at the, another spot. They sealed my wounds shut, poured some potions into my veins, and made my insides burn. And all the while, I could hear him, that voice, that disgusting voice. If they close in on you, don't let them take you prisoner. Kill yourself and do it so there's nothing left behind for them to use. There, there it is, their altar of torment. Um, the thing that maimed me. Now the master of these monsters sends me orders through psionics, and my body keeps trying to obey. These circlets are his reins. I wanted to enter his lair and kill him, but the closer I got to him, the harder it was for me to fight against his voice ringing in my ears. If you're still in control, why haven't you ended your life? I've tried. I've tried so many times, but each time I was about to end it all, I felt fear, and fear weakens the will. So the voice in my head sounded even louder, even stronger. I could... I could felt myself slipping away. I could feel myself slipping away. I worried that if I tried to inch the blade closer to my throat, he would blind me to his will forever, so all I could do is wait. How'd you manage to resist being possessed? It's not easy. His voice enters your mind, and to defy his command is torture, but I'm a medium, and I'm used to hearing voices in my head. They almost drove me mad as a kid until I learned to quiet them. That's why I joined the Crusaders as when I grew up. I prayed to, to Iomade for help, and she blessed me with the fortitude I needed. That's why I'm fighting, and while I'll keep, while I'll keep fighting that scumbag for as long as I can. He's breaking me bit by bit, but I'll stay strong, because as soon as I give up... <laughs> oh no. I don't want to lose myself. It's terrifying. God, it's so terrifying. But now you've come, and that means I haven't been holding on in vain. There in that pile of clutter, I hid the relics our squad carried. I was the last. And the others haven't seen the cache, so they couldn't report it to the enemy. Take them. Take them all. Relics blessed by Yomade must never fall into the hands of these monsters. Thank you, but I cannot be saved. I no longer want to live with this abomination in my head. But I cannot get rid of it. It will fry me from the inside if I try to take it off. There's only one way out, to end it all. If the voice in my ears had quieted down for even a second, I would have done it myself. Contraption before you looks truly sinister, like the entrails of some sort of sea creature. A glinting ta tangle of ebony tubes connects to a capacious vessel. The binding, splattered in with black and blood, must serve to hold helpless victims. You notice a piece of the scalp stuck between the teeth of the serrated saw. The shiny and impossibly sharp drill is sickening to look at. 
It's like the machine is sleeping, but ready at any moment to awaken and uh, recommence torturing and dissecting living flesh. It appears that this machine is what performed the heinous and disfiguring procedure on the guards that have turned them into puppets. A, separating compart or a separate compartment of the machine holds an orderly stack of nefarious circlets, their metal spikes, spikes gleaming. Um, numerous crystal plates, all no thicker than a hair, cover the inside of each circlet's rim. These plates overlap in an intricate pattern and are connected by a web of grayish metal fibers. Small spheres of a cloudy stone that resemble smoky quartz rest against the temples. It's possible that these are what the mysterious masters used to deliver commands to his slaves. Carefully touching the crystal plates, you analyze the circlet's reactions. Some touches make the cir circlet vibrate quickly, while others cause tiny storms of lightning to run along the spikes. Even though this contraption was created by adepts of, of a magic that you're completely unfamiliar with, you are nonetheless uh, certain that, it, that it's magical. Oh, wow. Uh, I doubt I'm gonna fucking hit that. Succeeded! First and foremost, you break off the sharp spikes. Then you tear the drill out of the monstrous machine's fastenings. You wield the drill methodically, punching holes in the circlet. Methodically, and hoping that your calculations are correct. By destroying just a few specific parts of the contraption, you can render it completely harmless. At last, your work is complete. You've turned the horrible device into something resembling a helmet that can be worn atop a head. An intact head that hasn't come into contact with a saw. This headgear will keep the wearer safe from even the strongest psionic attacks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save there, because, uh, yeah. Where, where's that, that helmet at? Did we automatically, like, is it just something that's worn that protects you? Is that all it is? Oh, it's right there. See, the funny thing is, it's not sitting in any of these. Like, it doesn't sit here. Do I just keep it in my main inventory, or do I keep it in this inventory? Well, it won't. It won't attack. It won't attach to anything. Yeah, it won't actually attach to anything. Alright, so you said don't open this door, but open this door?
Um, red lights flash ominously, and the strange mechanism begins to emit a low hum. After running an eye over the front panel, you notice three half-faded pictographs. The first looks like the symbol of fire, the second might be a symbol for wind, and the third reminds you of an imprint of a hand. After a great deal of effort, you determine that the device is supposed to send signals to a person in the neighboring room. It seems that this is that it seems that is where they conducted the experiments involving dangerous substances. The hand symbol must have been a signal for a worker to bring a dangerous item into the room or to remove one. The wind symbol presumably initiates the air filtration system. The symbol of fire must incinerate everything inside. Hand Oh, shit. I should have probably done wind first. Whenever this holy dwarven Urgosh lands a hit, but doesn't deal any physical damage, the next hit deals force damage instead of the normal piercing or slashing weapon damage. Hey, hey, I'm fucking, I'm smarter than the average bear, okay? There's a god tier sword on the left side of the map, and the rest is up. Are you talking about on this side of the map? Like over here? There's like two fucking doors over here. Time to practice my combat abilities! So what if I like... Just, they fucking love beating the shit out of him, dude. They really do. They love beating the shit out of him. I knew that was gonna happen. Why are you just gonna walk past all my people, you bitch? Stupid fuck. I will resist. Can you stop lagging, game? Like, there's no reason you should be lagging.
No glory without risk. <laughs> that was that was a great fucking troll of a miss, bro. Um. Grim and then okay so let's go ahead and just try it might not be enough can I not like wait is that succubus down no prepare yourself What I really need to do is I need to get Mac the fuck out of there. Into the hey! There we go. You're actually hitting him this time. Of course you're gonna vampire cut him. You little bitch. That actually did some decent fucking damage, we man. Yeah. So in here, I've kind of realized that like Mac and my Cavalier Gaffna, don't do head. any damage in here. Like our damage in here is shit. You have a 90% chance to fucking succeed. Eluding swing. Whenever this plus three ghost touch light mace confirms a critical hit, the wielder is affected with the effect of a greater invisibility spell for one v four rounds. See, see, that's cool, but like, I don't want my tank to be invisible. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's cool as shit, but having an invisible tank is not is not where it's at. We'll win this, one way or the other. Together we stand. Okay, so, um, Dark Zara and Star Lord, would you guys suggest me trying to open one of these two doors down here? Like, I don't know what door I should actually go to. Because I got this one. I don't know if I should go to one of these two to try to open them. Let me let me go ahead and save. And then I'm gonna take I didn't hundred percent this air okay. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I think the most right one has a sword, maybe. All right, I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. Quick bathroom. Quick bathroom.
Sorry about that. Okay, so you said this one? You think maybe this one? <sighs> Not that one? Oh. This was behind one of those force field doors. Yeah, that was behind one of those force field doors. I missed something from the augmented incubus. A simple magical device looks as incomprehensible as it does absurdly unviable. Okay, come on now. I need to concentrate. Can I not, like, knowledge arcana check this? There we go. Recognize the contours of the new, a new deadly weapon in the deranged diagram, one based on Numerian technology. Okay, so I'm going to save it. Great sword. Okay, shit. This plus three great sword is merged with Numerian technology. Once per day, the wielder can activate one of five enhancements for a number of rounds equal to half the wielder's level. Fiber Muscles, the primary subject of Fiber Muscles, gains a plus four enhancement bonus to dexterity and strength scores. Primary subject of Augmented Heart gains a plus six enhancement bonus to constitution score. This shield is supported. Dude, what the fuck, bro? Dude, that is an insane fucking sword, man. So, like, that if I didn't have so change. much glaive shit, if I didn't have so much glaive shit for him, I would use the sword with him. Dude, that bitch looks amazing. Like, look at that fucking thing! <laughs> that fucking sword looks amazing, though. If I didn't have so much shit and glaive for fucking Mac, I would be using that sword. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it on him for now so I don't sell it. That's fucking phenomenal, dude. I'm running with Max with uh Max actual spec. I stick hey, I stick true to what they want, man. Triple fin helmet. Um, this helmet gives its wearer one additional gore attack per round that deals 1d8 cold iron damage with a plus two enhancement bonus to attack and damage rolls. So we go to him who has no helmet. Boom. Helmet. What up, Lorthon? Why does it say open?
This this is all I play right now, Lorthon. This is all I play, dude. Except for at nighttime. At nighttime, I play the shit out of New World. I'm still only like level 53 in New World, though. Like I haven't I haven't made it far enough. Head on. Oh yeah, I raided you yesterday, right? Yeah. So get this, dude. I had a raid and then another raid. And then I asked Chad, I was like, do you want to give the, the raid to somebody that has one view or somebody that has five views? And they were like, one. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Lorthon it is. Like, you know? Well, if you would come to US East, we have a company. And it's and it's got a lot of people that play. Fuck me sideways, bruh. That kind of looks like a secret door, not gonna lie. You follow. Why does that look like a secret door? Onwards. Should I? Hmm. Like there's even a seam and everything. That's got to be a door. That's got to be a fucking door. Got a level 57, I think, in New World and was doing quests for level 60, but mobs were all 62 plus. Dude, I am at, I'm at level 53 and I'm getting shit on by mobs, dude. Like, there's, there's just so many mobs in these zones and I'm getting just pooped on by them. Maybe that's not a secret door? Here we go again. Like I felt like it was, maybe it's not. I wonder if I should rest first. I feel like a chosen one. Yeah, fuck it. We're going to. No, I can't rest. If I rest, I'm going to get fucking if I fail this, this is going to go over. All right, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, that's not true, because if I succeed, it lowers the abyssal corruption, I believe. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Ah, oh, fuck, yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay. That's a no-go. Uh, I wanted to rest before we got into that fucking final boss room, but... That seems like it's not gonna happen. Let's move already. A bright future awaits us. I mean, I get it. it, it it's okay. Everyone is mortal in this can. world. Especially when I'm around. <laughs> I feel like a chosen one. Keep your wits about you. I think I've got a couple of blur scrolls. 
I've got haste, I know that. Yeah, there's a blur scroll. And there's a blur scroll. He's got blur for another 40 seconds. We'll re-up it. We'll just have him drink a potion of blur. Okay. I feel like I have. Did you chant? No, I'm still a. I'm still a cavalier. I'm still a cavalier. All right. So. Yeah, I changed I changed the artwork cuz uh I downloaded a uh, a pack of of character skins, I guess, like the character artwork. You've demonstrated superior abilities. We are impressed. We greet you, candidate. Who are you? We are Hundred Face, the mind engineer, the alloy of mortal and immortal. We oversee this community. You realize you've seen this face before, the caltrouted visage of the Kellet Velg, who told you about this place. The top of Hundred Face's skull has been removed like the others, but the crown he's wearing is much larger and more intricate. Hey, I know you. True. Your arrival was planned in accordance with the schedule. Given that the original host's body possesses the most advanced functionality, we used it to convince you to come. We are satisfied with the fact that you arrived within the scheduled time limits, as did all previous candidates. The calculations do not require adjustment. The original host's name does not matter, and neither does the history of his existence. We are not what he was. We have long surpassed the limitations of a mortal creature's mind. The singular personality was split in order to achieve complexity of thought. Now we are a collective. We are Hundred Face. <clears throat> yeah, I really like this orc, um... So, like, I couldn't find, like, a really good, you know, orc portrait, but this orc portrait is fucking awesome to me. With the, the helmet and everything else. Like, he's not wearing super heavy armor, but my dude wears medium, so this fits. So many fancy words, but it's all so simple. You used to be human, then you became a monster. That's it. So you even turned yourself into a machine. True. The exhaustion and deterioration of living tissue reach critical levels. For the purpose of continuation of function, a number of measures were taken. The decision was considered acceptable. The procedure resulted in the duration of existence being extended by an undefined length of time, which will prove sufficient for the discovery of permanent solution. Why have you lured me here? The question requires a multi-part response. First, we have been testing our location's deterrence system. The deterrent system has been judged unsatisfactory. Adjustment based on this observation is required. Second, we have been testing you. You have been deemed satisfactory candidate. You will be subject to the modernization procedure. Third, we have been searching for a fitting specimen as a replacement to lead our field combat unit. Uh, your abilities have been deemed extraordinary. The modernization procedure will be modified in order to take the specimen's peculiar properties into account. We are satisfied to the highest degree and are experiencing a state of euphoria. Uh, we wish to inform you that you will serve as the leader of our army. W what are you doing here? We are conducting the project, implementing its schedule and gathering an army. While incrementally enhancing countermeasures, we are attracting increasingly more dangerous opponents to absorb their abilities through modernization and amalgamation. Dude, <laughs> these are some big ass fucking words, bro. 
The next scheduled phase is to attract a high volume of non-mortal opponents, such as demon armies of the world wound. The chances of victory are adequate. They want to fight demons and turn themselves into monsters that are no better. What is that if not a triumph of the abyss? How do you convince the Sarkorians to serve you? Uh, the manipulation, or the manipulative approach was deemed optimal. The specimens were motivated by the promise of assistance. Mistrust was suppressed through the weakening of their identities, basic elements such as hope, religious beliefs, or ethical limitations. Insubordination was suppressed through internal purges. You're just playing with the lives of others. True. Playing a game is a preferred default activity for most advanced intellects. The mind's purpose is to play and find the optimal strategy to achieve total victory. How do you bend mortals to your will? You cannot comprehend the intricacies of our work. It is highly probable that you assume that the key is the direct cerebral connection, but that is an insignificant accomplishment within our project. Our true genius is embodied in the device you are observing at this moment. It collects external thoughts that are then translated into generic signs, stored, transformed, and sent back as commands. This process is efficient. The cognition circlet receives the command and compels the body to execute it. It expels all redundant and resistant elements from the specimen's mind. Our device is the pinnacle of scientific thought, a mechanism created by a mortal being, yet it surpasses its creator in every aspect. It is the beginning of a new era, a gateway to the future. It allows us to control our servants. We are holding them at the tip of our thoughts. Our soldiers have forgotten the meaning of fear. We have erased it from their hearts and minds. They have forgotten their lives. They reclaimed space. Uh, the reclaimed space has been used to store knowledge of combat arts and mastery of Numerian weapons. They know no pain, and their bodies remain obedient to the cognition circlets. No matter the wounds they sustain, until their functionality is lost completely, they will execute the commands, observe, even physiological death failed to make any to make many of them abandon their posts. Is this not the perfect army? Should you not be bowing before our genius and thanking us for revealing the truth? How did you obtain them? They were procured in the depths of Numeria. We executed a series of expeditions into Silvermount, where we discovered these and many other pieces. Killing noise. Chambers of eternal life, artificial creatures, technology. Even hundred faces and passive voice tenses upon uttering the last word. These items were crafted from sky metals. They are not from Galarian. They were created under the light of other stars. The Technic League in Numeria extracts such machines from the ground. They think they can understand their essence and claim them false. The nations of Galarian are underdeveloped beyond measure compared to the creators of these items, and their failure is therefore assured. Only the device that we assembled is capable of fully grasping technology. Dude, this is fucking cool. Obsessed with unlocking the mysteries of the Silver Mount. Through their indirect control over the nation's ruler, the Black Sovereign Kivoth Kool, the Technic League is also, also has a strong influence over laws, policies, and ec economy of Numeria. So, literally, it's an alien ship. Like you guys said earlier. False. We will now begin preparations for modernization. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, shit! The fucking bed! Okay, um, first of all, bruh, let's go ahead and give you guys all this heal. Um, I have to go and shut down these fucking pillars. I, I really don't like... Wait, can I not fucking attack this thing? That's so dumb. Alright, what all does she have? Okay, so she doesn't have her hurricane bow up, because I forgot to fucking implement it.
I don't really think I need the cold iron ammunition anymore. Yeah, I got Arushale and Lorthon. I actually fucked up by bringing Zangel over there, to be honest. I didn't mean to actually bring him, and hopefully he doesn't fucking die. Because, uh... I fucked up by bringing him there, so... Let's do this. I'm gonna have to get... I'm gonna have to get one of my characters over there. Alright, so I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'll take that. Fuck me sideways. Do not hold back. Into the fray. Okay, come on with the fucking lightning every round, bro. me um I wonder though can I use I probably can't Why can I never charge, dude? That's so stupid. Like, I'm losing out on the main ability of my fucking class by not being able to charge. You sorry sack of bullshit. Alright. We're gonna reload. We're gonna reload. I have to. I have to reload. There's there's no fucking way. I lost my my fucking uh my character there. I lost my healer, essentially. You call? And with Arushale, I can... kind of do this. What's going on here? I don't have these fucking heals up either. Alright, come on. Alright, we'll just skip through all this because we've already read it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Keep your wits about you. something Oh, that's what I have to disarm. Okay. By the darkness. Did I already disarm it? I will resist. Okay. I'm gonna keep Zangel back. Oh, come on! Do not hold back. Alright, so I think that one's disarmed. <sighs> Fuck me, come on.
Alright, so I'm gonna take Sela. Take her over here. Um, uh, that's fucking stupid. I missed every fucking attack. <sighs> Alright, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Like, I don't think I can hold person to succubuses, can I? I cannot. I know what we're gonna do, we're just gonna start summoning. I really, really hate that. That's some some bullshit and a half. Um, <laughs> wait, I have blur on, right? Yes. So. Wait, was he attacking my one that was concealed? He fucking was. Into the fray. Do, do I have... I do have a challenge on him. Alright. So, since I have a challenge on him... A hundred and nine? Um Desna, guide my hand. <laughs> okay, and then No actions left this turn to use this ability. What the fuck, bro? How? <laughs> Wait, why wasn't that in effect either? That should have been in effect this whole fucking time, but it wasn't. Alright, I'm just bringing- I'm just bringing in extra fucking meat shields, man. That's all I'm doing. Alright, I have to heal- I have to heal Mac. Um, yeah, so that fervor really didn't help him a whole lot. Um, potions. Those are my big pots, right? Yeah. Let's see, uh, for one minute. So I think we still have Aura of Protection on. Wait, do we not? Oh yeah, we do, okay. Um, so I need... First of all, I need to drink a fucking potion. And then... Oh, I can't sacred armor, armor myself? Shit. I'm like, I'm trying to do everything that I can to fucking... <laughs> Why 
Wait, who did he knock down? Oh, okay, cool. The inheritor, guide my blade. Why? Why? Out of my way. Like I've got a person with trickery over there, and it's not appearing. Alright, so he needs health bad. Like bad bad. Um <laughs> Appears every time for me in real time. Yeah, see it just it wasn't appearing for me. For some reason. Maybe I have to get closer? I literally just used both of his actions to fucking heal himself. face did that? What did he cast? What the fuck did he cast? Sunburst, I think? Okay, Sunburst causes a globe of searing radiance to explode silently from a point you select. All creatures in the globe are blinded and take 6d6 points of damage. A successful reflex save negates the blindness and reduces the damage by half. An undead creature caught within the globe takes 1d6 points of damage per caster level. 25d6, bro! I disarmed it. Now. <laughs> like, I really, really need... Oh, come on! Why would you turn to the invisible motherfucker? You bitch! How stupid this is. Look, look how stupid this is. Let's hear you cry. I will resist. Well, my breath of life is not back. Can I just fucking... Oh, fuck me. There's another one? Wait, I can't touch it? Oh, 
Um. Come on, man. Yeah, that's cool. It's because I can't fucking actually do anything with him. Prepare yourself. Can you fucking hit it, please? Dude, some of this shit is really pissing me off. <gasps> of course you'd control fireball that bullshit. I have to go turn off the last one. The light take you. Alright, can we fucking kill this guy, please? Now that he's been here for like a bajillion fucking turn. No, we're just gonna miss every shot. That's cool. And down he goes. Hi, Mac. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna suck. Fuck me, this guy sucks ass, bro. And now I have to wait till next turn to actually do that. Nah, I experienced unfair playing earlier. Like, I, I started with that setting and turned that shit off. Make your peace. Hold on. Just a more. So, uh, Can you stop casting Hold Monster and actually fucking deal damage? Alright, let's get rid of that. Where is my... Where's those scrolls? Let's remove sickness. Like, this bitch hasn't even taken a single lick of fucking damage, dude. Not a single lick of damage. And with Mac, all I can sit here and do is fucking heal. I can't even attack anybody. Thank you, fucking bullshit. Please, please fucking hit it. Or don't hit it, that's cool. 
Just keep letting them beat the fuck out of Mac. Did he fucking knock himself down? It looked like he knocked himself down. So, let's see. What did he cast here in the middle? That's who I'm actually going to start focusing on. Problem is, I'm sitting here playing fucking damage control. Trying to actually heal my dude. Like, I have to keep fuckface over here alive. Attack. Why is he only doing four fucking damage, though? Okay, so... Here's what we're gonna do. Fuck you, succubus. You and you're not taking any fucking damage bullshit. Yeah, see, I can't charge him either. Dude. Dude, this is just fucking great. All the, uh, all the bonuses that I have, right? All the bonuses. And we can't hit shit. Stand by. Immediate extermination has been considered ineffective. The viability of our host has been compromised. The probability of death is estimated at 100%. The device must not cease operations. We are ready to transfer device's control codes to you. Why are you giving your creation over to me? Self-perfection. We approach self-perfection by increasing the complexity of the structures we develop. The device is the most perfect and most complex of the structures of our making. Its continued operation will guarantee the successful completion of our function. Hundred Faces starts speaking in ha uh, Halet, the language of Numeria, and his voice takes on an almost physical appearance. His words are impressed upon your mind with such force you doubt you'll ever be able to forget them. Upon completing his task, Hundred Faces gives an approving nod. The code that controls the device is now known to you. Use it. Its potential is li limitless. It will run the necessary procedures on mortal candidates with no need for your input, you will be able to make use of the results. Awaiting affirmative response. God, dang that was hard, bro. Can we just, like, stop with the bullshit of not letting them examine shit while they're on a horse? 
The device greets your approach with majestically cold indifference. Judging by the sound it makes, it is continually fright frightening and monumental work even after its owner's death. Uh, examine the device. The device makes the Hall of Hundred Faces other creations look like pathetic tin handicrafts. Its inner workings reveal an array of perfect geom geometric forms, and a large crystal covered in minuscule engravings hover suspended at its very center. The wave of energy it emits envelops you. The crystal contains tremendous power, and it is in the writing of its surface that directs the power. It feels as if the device is a living creature, one that is merely sleeping for now. Okay. Um... figure out how the device works. Recalling all that you have read or heard about the Numerian arts of technology, you fully understand the sheer genius of Hundred Face. Did he even realize what he'd created? That the function for which he was using the device, controlling enslaved warriors, was but a shred of its true potential. One might as well use a finely tuned astronomical instrument as a paperweight. The key unique feature of the device is its ability to read and process the thoughts of sentient creatures. By absorbing them into the crystal, that serves as its heart. It breaks complex thoughts and emotions down into basic clear symbols readable by anyone. It perceives deeply personal feelings and casually assimilates any experience, no matter how unique. It learns, and what it learns is everything. Hundred Faces Army provided it with many thoughts and emotions, but the, the device hungers for something more. Observing this magnificent monster is both breathtaking and terrifying. The device refuses to die. You watch as clouds of metallic dust erupt from its depths and gather around the parts you've damaged, restoring their original condition. You hear a low scraping noise coming from the core of the mechanism, like a giant tossing and turning in its steel cradle shaking off sleep. Now that you've attacked the device, it tries to awaken, to become more complex in order to protect itself. Without wasting another moment, you call upon your all your power and deliver a single, unstoppable, deadly blow. It tears the massive crystal heart from the depths of the device. The mechanism thrashes around like a beast in agony until it, it until at last it goes still. All right. Get fucked, machine. Head on. This is, dude, what the fuck, bro? Alright, Grim. Get, get off. Yeah, okay, cool. We can't pick it up. Got it. Alright. We don't need Boon Companion. Um, I could critical focus. Hammer the gap. Iron guts, iron hide. Uh, you are trained in the art of causing pain. You receive a plus four circumstance bonus on attack rolls to make made to confirm critical hits. I think I'm gonna grab Hammer the Gap with him. And then Sela, the Palidan. Oh shit, look at all the spells she just got. That means he got new spells too. Fucking 46 perception, bro. 
Okay. Um. Die hard, dispel, dodge, extra channel cleric. Oh, wait. What does wings do? He's got wings now. Fuck yeah. Can I do that shit with him too? Now I got two people with wings. Alright, so with him, breadth of experience. With him, isn't there another, uh. Isn't there another fucking. You become even more resistant to enchantment spells, gaining a plus two bonus on saving throws. Additionally, the DC of enchantment spells cast by you is increased by one. Didn't we already grab arcane focus? Yeah, we already grabbed Arcane Focus. While wielding a ranged weapon, you threaten squares within your melee reach. You can make attacks of opportunity. Uh, I don't think we can grab Elven Spirits. Yeah, because we need Elven Magic. Um, which, what is Fireball? Is, is Fire, what, like, which one of these is Fireball? Is that Conjuration? Oh, uh, okay, I already got Evocation then. Um. Elemental focus. I mean, that works. Dude, the fucking spell specialization. Oh, fuck me. Okay, so... We get level 7 spells. Um... While Firebrand burns, any creature it marks is immune to damage from any fire spell you cast. Legendary proportions. Power word blind. So we need evocation stuff. Caustic eruption. Acid erupts from your space in all directions, causing 1d6 points of damage per caster level. That would hurt my people, too. Where's some more evocation shit? Prismatic spray. Uh, 
Uh, what what other one would you guys suggest, man? I mean, I could do legendary proportions, but I need that. If I do firebrand, like if I do this, then I can cast fireballs itself without like an actual issue. Um, this spell functions as dragon kind, except that it also allows you to assume the form of a large dragon-like creature. Plus four size bonus to constitution. Oh, that's a buff. Your form transmutes into living ice, granting you several abilities. You gain immunity to cold, vulnerability to fire damage, and damage reduction 5 versus magic. You are immune to ability score damage, blindness, critical hits, disease, drowning, electricity, poison, stunning, and all spells or attacks that affect your... Yeah, we'll grab that. Scroll down a bit more. I grab prismatic spray. Technically, though, that really wouldn't do a whole lot, right? How much further do I need to scroll? Ooh, Shadow Conjuration. I need some touch spells, man. Like, some ranged touch spells. I always feel like it takes me forever to level up, man. Yeah, we never grabbed Hammer the Gap with her. Or a blind fight, for that matter. Um... What should I do for favored terrain type? What do we have right now? At third level, may select a type of terrain. Plus two bonus to initiative checks, okay. And at eighth level, and every five levels thereafter, so, three and eight. So, I don't think it actually tells me what she had originally grabbed. Yeah, it didn't tell me. That's kind of shitty. Um... Let's see. So do I do urban or abyss? Probably abyss, right? Damn, they all got new spells too. I'm I'm assuming that we just get a couple little bonuses to this shit with these. Oh nope. Um Okay, this is 
coal. Give him some dodge. This one is my bulwark companion. Gave him iron will one. All right. Onwards. I think we're done in here. Like, it looks like we got everything except for something that's here. Like, it kind of looks like there's a room back here. You see? Arcana checking. Yeah, I think we're done, man. I think we are finally done in here. That took us a hot fucking minute, too. Look at all this shit. We'll witness one way or the other. I will help where I can. Alright. I feel like I missed a room or some shit. I really feel like I missed some stuff. <sighs> that took fucking forever, man. That literally took fucking forever. Priests of various faiths are asking the commander to banish the followers of a small sect that believes in the imminent demise of Gal Galarian. These doomsayers scorn the gods with their words and demand that everyone bow down before the inevitable end. Reconcile the sectarians with other priests. Upon hearing what Sociol, an adept theologian, uh, had to say, the sectarians spoke with the clergy and have reached a certain consensus. They agreed to be more discreet. After all, the end of the world is coming either way. So there's no reason to quarrel on its brink. The clerics can sense the traces of Chilroar's former might in its remains. Short Spear absorbs water from the target on each hit. Wait. It just says no. Awaken Choroy's voice. Why does it say no?
That's the one I'm gonna grab. Alright, so which... Whoa, what the fuck? Should I upgrade this one? I think I upgraded this one already. It just says fucking null. Um... Jesus, I have 25,000, dude. Alright, so... Reduces the cost of recruiting mercenary units. Increases the number of available mercenary units by one. Provides 10% bonus to damage. Okay, so we'll grab that. Oh, shit. Okay, so I have... A garrison stables, a barracks, and an archery range already. And I didn't realize I already had that. Should I move the supply center and put, um... Ten percent bonus to damage for all trainable units in adjacent buildings. Should I move the warehouse, right, or supply center, and put that in the middle? You know, that's what I'm going to do. Well, fuck. <laughs> Increases recruitment growth for main spellcasters lodge. Okay, so I think I need to go ahead and do this and this. Teleporter, archery, stable, barracks, spellcaster, and champions. Yeah, I think I've got all those in there. Um, all right. Energy points income increased by three. Okay, so let's go to my main army. I think I was heading down this way to start taking out armies.
I need to uh, go ahead and go and go into Dresden. Uh, wait to see how things instruct your advisors to investigate Damar's murder. I already did all that. Yeah, I need to come back here and rest. And then go back out again. Yay! I'll probably sell all my shit while I'm here. Because now I'm just kind of using the coin to um, buy everything to keep upgrading the, the, the areas. It's almost one o'clock, man. That means we got an hour left, boys and girls. One hour. Uno mas. I'll be getting a car soon, though, so, like, it's kind of a good thing, too. So, I think this afternoon, me and the wife are probably going to look at one. Commander, do you remember Private Gorvo, who killed his commanding officer? It turns out his case is more complicated than just a dispute over a woman. Our investigation has revealed tension that are brewing between the officers and the rank and file, and I'd like to talk to you about it. What's the general sentiment among the officers? They deny all accusations with such una un unanimity that they are undoubtedly conspiring together. Many of them come from noble families. They receive their title simply by virtue of their birthright. They treat soldiers like servants and toys and speak disparagingly to of them. But other than that, there are no complaints about them. They have been educated and trained well and have proven themselves on the battlefield. If we simply proceed with the case and demote them, we will quell this unrest among the rank and file, but we will lose the support of the officers. Uh, what's the general sentiment among the rank and file? They are ready to riot. What Gorbo did inspired them. There are rumors being spread about the attempts to execute some of the officers without waiting for the trial. And and lists of the officers' names have been circulating. They are waiting for your decision, and they hope that you will acquit Gorvo and punish those who are responsible for hurting him. But I think that as long as you pronounce Gorvo not guilty, that will be enough to uh, placate them. What do you think? Zara, by the way, I know I haven't said this, but I do appreciate you hanging out in here and actually chatting with me. Uh, you and Mac are freaking awesome, man. You guys, uh, you guys literally help me get through this stream and everything, and you guys give me a lot of advice about the games that we're playing. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I appreciate you. Thank you for hanging around. I know my words won't go beyond these walls, so I'll say it like this, like it is. Yeah, man, I appreciate it, though. That's, that's all. I, I just wanted to show appreciation, tell you I appreciated you. I dislike Leland and those he protects. I'm sorry that Gorvo, who served you loyally in the cause of the crusade, was driven to murder and almost suicide at the cruel whims of others. Whatever the outcome of the case, the fact that this was allowed to happen in the first place is a stain on our entire army. Yes, Commander, I believe you are fair and that you listen to your heart when making such consequential decisions. You know, I think... Um, I think for for December we may end up doing a giveaway, so that's I, I'm 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 gonna talk to my wife and see if we can do a giveaway. I'm not gonna announce it because I'd rather you know my uh, I'll announce it in Discord, but I'd rather my people that actually sit in here and watch all the time win a giveaway versus just some rando, you know. I just woke up from having nodded off somewhere in Blackwater, but no problem. Happy to help. Wait, you're in Blackwater too? Private Gorbo is accused of murdering Damar, his commanding officer. The murder was committed with a dagger in the barracks in the presence of more than three witnesses. Private Gorbo claims he did it out of desperation and fear of the torture inflicted by Damar and on his soldiers. Some of the witnesses we interrogated confirm his account, and some claim the murder was committed out of revenge because Gorbo's lover chose Damar over him. However, we failed to locate this woman. She was last seen in Canabras. What do you say to this defendant? Or to this defendant? No, I meant while watching you going through. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that was rough, man. Like, I was bitching and moaning about it. That was rough. 
The same thing that I said before. Uh, Damar was a scoundrel and a sadist. And Officer Leland, who's been crying on every corner that it's all the fault of some woman, has always covered for Damar and his friends. I had no choice but to kill Damar. And if the commander can see through the peop through people as they say, the truth will come out. Commander, before you deliver your verdict, remember that a rash decision in this case might lower the army's morale. Damar is not the only officer taking advantage of his position. There are many more, but if we demote them all, we won't have enough officers. If you execute Gorvo, on the other hand, the soldiers will revolt. Many consider him a hero. Takes a good deal of finesse to thread the needle, doesn't it? But remember, the document you signed right before the murder? In order for Officer Damar to appear before the court and answer for all the atrocities he had committed, uh, lowers his voice. Perhaps the order slipped your mind, or it might have been lost. But I'm sure such a document exists, if you need it in a difficult situation. But I didn't hear about any... Unless we were conducting your own secret investigation. Private Gorvo shall be executed for the murder of a superior officer, as the law requires. Officer Leland shall be stripped of all rank for his deception. And Officer Damar shall be stripped of all rank posthumously. Um, shall be pardoned but sent to the condemned. The order for Damar to appear before the court was signed the day before Gorvo murdered him. Now all I can do is send Gorvo to the condemned. Um, dude, we've got to stick by the law of the land on this one. I will give you all their names. Punish them before some other idiot loses it and dies for nothing. The, inv the investigation will continue, Commander. But I don't know what will happen to your army, or who will lead the soldiers into battle if you demote everyone. We had to go by the law of the land, man. Commander, the woman entering the room is horribly wounded. Her simple clothes are soaked with blood. Her face has been beaten to a pulp and one arm is twisted at an unnatural angle. She walks towards you, but her legs give out and she falls on the floor. It's Ember. Ember has been taken. What's wrong with her? Baphomet cultists came to her sermon. They slaughtered everyone and took her off to their unholy shrine to sacrifice her. I can tell you where it is. I'm begging you. Hurry before they do something to her. How exactly do you know where the Shrine of Baphomet is? You're very perceptive, Commander. The woman lowers her head and stops for a moment and then forces herself to continue, looking you straight in the eye. I didn't come here only to tell you about Ember's abduction, but also to surrender to the law. Arrest me for treason. I am a cultist of Baphomet. It's my fault Ember was taken. Why are you helping me if you're a cultist? I regret what I did. That doesn't absolve me of my guilt, but at least I can do some good before I accept my punishment. I was recruited a few months back. I came to the city to work on a construction site. I was alone, with no friends and no money. I met some nice people in the tavern. We spent some good times together, and they were always willing to help me in any way they could. They even let me borrow money and never asked for it back. I really thought I'd found some friends. Then they started saying things about unfairness in the army, that Galfrey is a tyrant, and you're her executioner, that fighting cultists is just slaughtering innocent people who see things a different way. I felt like something was off, but they were my friends. Well, it didn't take, or it didn't even take two months before I was kissing the hoof of Baphomet's statue in his shrine and swearing an oath to his warlord, Thaskarod. Break Baphom Baphomet's profane altar, destroy his cult, and punish me in front of everyone as, as an example to the rest. A powerful demon. I've only seen him once, and I almost died of fear. He is huge, and he breathes fire and devours human souls. He has an entire army of Templars at his command. At first, I stayed away from her sermons, but the cult leader kept a close eye on her. People flocked to her. The cultists dreamed of poaching her congregation, and maybe even luring her to their side, too. When she started saying prayers for the demon lords, we thought it would be easy to entice them to our side, but we underestimated her. Five spies, including me, infiltrated her congregation, and when the other cultists came for her, all five of us took up arms to protect her from them. You didn't know? She's a true saint. I don't know what else to call her. She was offering up prayers for all the demon lords, Baphomet, Discari, Nocticula, Cabri Cabriri, 
asking that they come to their senses and end this war, stop hurting people. She believes there is good in everyone, even in creatures who are evil incarnate. I don't know if anyone can make the demons come to their senses, but she can do it with people. How can I keep hurting crusaders after I, along with the others, appealed to Baphomet's better nature? How could I ask him to repent and not repent myself? I will, I will humbly accept your decision. Arrest is the least I deserve. Yep. Fucking lawful, bro. I am the law. That bit with the soldiers apparently is an Aeon exclusive quest. Oh, yeah? I feel like I feel like I did it correctly. I stuck to the law of the land. You know? So I feel like I did it. I did it right. Despite their differences, your parents truly loved each other. How I wish I could experience that kind of love. You don't know what you're wishing for. The best outcome from that kind of love is a good-looking child like me. The <laughs> worst outcome? Well, let's just say no love is worth that. A good-looking child like me. What's up? Alright, so I'm gonna go sell my shit now. Oh, shit, I'm an idiot. Fuck. Damn it, dude. When you cast this on a creature, its skin turns slick and clammy each round. While under this effect, the spell, the creature gains fast healing 5 and a plus 2 competence bonus to its combat maneuver defense. You take on the aspect of a wolf, including some of its physical characteristics. You gain a plus 4 enhancement bonus to strength and dexterity, plus 2 enhancement bonus to on trip attacks. And that's personal. Okay, I think... I'll put the blessing of the salamander up there. It's either that or animal animal growth. Yeah, I can't I can't believe I fucking Hmm. Oh, shit. Um... Your height immediately doubles, and your weight increases by a factor of eight. This increase changes your size category to the next larger one. You gain a plus four size bonus to strength and constitution and take a negative two penalty to your dexterity. You gain plus two form bonus to your natural armor. DR5 versus evil. DR5 versus good if you're evil. 15th level, this damage reduction becomes 10. Your size modifier for AC and attacks changes as appropriate to your new size category. Spell doesn't change your speed. Determine space and reach as appropriate to your new size. All equipment you wear or carry is similarly enlarged by the spell. Weapons deal more damage. So righteous might or angelic aspect. I think righteous might. Dude, I always forget to fucking put more shit on myself. Like, before I do my rest. Definitely helps with bonking. 
greater restoration. I think I've got true seeing on him. Um, yeah. True seeing communal. Is there a, yeah, there is a summon monster. So what I'll do, is I'll take off that. Where is it at? Put another true seeing on him. Any non-good creature within the area of a holy word spell suffers the following ill effects. Is up to your caster level minus one. It, it is blinded. Is up to your caster level minus five. It is paralyzed and blinded. Minus ten. It is killed, paralyzed, and blinded. Wait, why do you kill it, paralyze, and blind it? <laughs> fucking kill it, paralyze, and blind it all at once. That makes fucking sense. Wait, this character does not have spell slots to memorize spells of this level, yet I have spells of that level. That doesn't make sense. You challenge an evil creature to bring the fight to you or suffer the consequences. You gain plus two sacred bonus on all melee attacks against the subject of the spell. Every round, if the target has not made at least one attack on you, it becomes sickened. If you move away from the target, the spell ends. Fuck yes. It's kind of like a fucking taunt, bro. I'm just going to go ahead and fucking rest again just to get all the all the shit, you know. Just to have all my spell slots cover recovered. I'd rather have them recovered than not. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I have to figure this one out. Also, is there something new with the mirror in your room? Um, I actually, I talked to it last time, and um, there was something that I did have to do last time. What the fuck, bro? Oh, what the fuck's wrong with my horse? Yeah, I talked to it last time I was in town, though. Damn it, dude. I don't have the, the materials. Yes, you're right. Another piece of evidence from the past I had forgotten. Thank you. Five more pages. Okay. Is there a dude that I can buy cold iron and stuff from? Uh, 
Whenever the, the wielder of this plus two short spear uses the cleave or vital strike feat, the next attack against the affected creature deals an additional 3d6 sonic damage. Let's see. Yep, I don't think that he offers. Whenever the wearer of this amulet is under a blood rage effect, they gain fast healing five. I bet you his shit still hasn't changed. Yeah, so I think I went and talked to the mirror last time. I'll, I'll go and... Did you get the other relic? You can have him reconstruct. Wait, which one? He's reconstructed a few for me. Yeah, see, I already did. I already did all the mirror stuff. Some kind of Eomidian keychain, a small planquet under accessories. Oh, is it uh, ta ta ta? This thing, the Covenant of the Inheritor. When placed on the belt, emits a holy aura. All party members in a thirty-foot area get a plus two bonus to cast your level checks. Yeah. I put it on my healer because my healer is usually standing in the middle. Yes. It was off for a minute, and uh, I don't know why it actually turned off. But yes, I, I have it turned on. Good, I only found out that you have to turn it on first in the last dungeon of the chapter. Oh, shit. Okay.
Okay, I think I think we got this like easy. Easy, easy. Yeah, we've added so many fucking units to our our thing. What the fuck? Deadly toll. What? A plus four scythe, bruh. Holy shit, that's a lot of enemies. Like, that's not a whole lot, but there's... I'm assuming they, they're gonna fucking hurt. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming they're just gonna fucking hurt, man. again I feel like I took out the right the right thing all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this bitch and then... Yep, there we go. That was a lot. In his citadel, the Storm's Peak is building a new army to unleash on the Crusaders. The commander must launch a preemptive strike and gain control over this outpost. Wait, what? Why does it say I'm good? Did I just take out Storm Peak? I mean, I just fucked up that army, apparently. You fucking prick! Come on.
You sorry sack of shit. Stop it! Jesus. I don't like it when they fucking put my own clerics against me, man. That's some bullshit. Yeah, I didn't I didn't max out all my crusader stats yet. Wait, what the fuck? There's 10 of those things in that army. Whatever the fuck these are. I'm probably going to get my shit kicked in by 10 things. I like the gloves you can make the attractive impulse. What the fuck, dude? You immediately started the bullshit. Okay, so I can't move. That's cool. Damn. Ah, oh, shit. say as long as they don't attack my my unit here I'm good dude <laughs> I like the gloves you can make that attractive impulse into good on bow users oh shit I don't know if I made it into a, a thing for bows god that's a lot of enemies Okay. Let's see. I want to... Oh, shit. I want to go back over there. There's more shit that I want to research. Storm Peaks, the stronghold of the fierce... Blank has been captured and destroyed to the ground. The mighty Baylor and his army will no longer be able to threaten Dresden from this location. Opted to avoid a fight, leaving the Citadel in the last moment of battle, but there's no doubt he will attempt to avenge such an affront. Okay. So, yeah.
Okay. Show me your wares. I, I had him bring new shit. Okay. Whenever they're wielder, this plus three spiked holy heavy shield uses it for a shield bash. It behaves like a holy weapon, dealing an extra 2d6 points of holy damage to the opponent. Acid resistance 15, fire resistance 15. Lone wolf scale mail. Great to swear immunity to flanking and plus three insight bonus to AC against flying and incorporeal creatures. Um, half plate plus two. Wait, does he keep all the shit that I end up selling him to? I don't feel like this guy really offers anything that great, dude. Well. I mean, I guess I could grab this. Just to get the, the extra armor. But then I would lose the 5 DR to magic. I don't know, which one would you assume? Should I grab... Should I grab the, the plus one? <sighs> yeah, should I grab the plus one? Okay, the other thing that I can do is get rid of all of these shitty potions. You give her that strength four belt. Um, like that's what I was assuming is grab the Well, see, here's the problem. So, that would give her might, right? Yeah. But the belt that I've got on her gives her might and and constitution. Which is the only reason I didn't trade it. It's literally the only reason I didn't trade it out. I'm losing my temper. Together we stand. Here we go oh, again. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot. We have all these new fucking spells now. Um, our time has come. This motherfucker with all of his shit full. Never stop learning. I shall not be swayed from my path. I will see this A bright through. future awaits us. Okay. 
No, the one for sale does not give strength and con. Uh, the one for sale only gives strength. Where is it? Oh, shit, you're right, it fucking does. Damn, I'm stupid. Damn, I'm stupid. Damn, I'm stupid, man. Okay. There. Now I got it. Fucking dumb, dude. Sometimes, dude, sometimes I just, I end up missing what it actually fucking is. So, I'm kind of like focusing on taking out these armies down here. So, I'm taking out like the lowly level ones first. I ain't even playing with that motherfucker. I feel like these paladins are uh, are a pretty good tanky tanky character. Oh, right, you're dead. Yeah, I feel like the paladins and the hell knights are actually like good good at dealing a little bit of both tank tank and and DPS. So like that's why I kind of throw them out in the front. I can probably take that one. Oh, look at this. All units in the army have a plus one bonus to attack per level of this feat. Start a battle, a few units can act out of turn. The number of units is equal to the level of this feat. Fuck yeah. Let me act out of turn. Fucking shit. That's a fucking huge gap. Did that motherfucker really just summon a Vrock? See, that's the shit that fucking pisses me off.
Even with all the damage that I'm dealing out to that motherfucker. Fuck, bro. Oh, my, you sorry, fucking shit. I don't like this fucking... I don't like that, dude. It's fucking about time, dude. I have to keep just healing myself. This fucking Vrock, dude. Oh my Christ. <sighs> fucking kill it, please. No, that's cool. Fucking bitch. Can y'all stop attacking the same fucking target every time? I lost a little bit of paladins. I lost like 20 paladins, I think. I was gonna say that's that's acceptable. It's not it's not like with without reason at that point. I haven't been exploring with this army. I need to. Well, guess I can't go back that way. Just in case I run into that fortress. Nope.
Oh my gosh, dude. The fate of the dirty squealer. <laughs> Fuck, dude. You dirty fucking squealer, you. Ancient ruins that Sarkoris inherited from the unknown builders of Earthfall times. The Sarkorians dubbed this place the Core of Riddle. Scattered all over the walls of the ruins are numerous pressure plates, buttons, and levers, the purpose of which one can only guess. So I'm assuming that... is literally exactly what it states. Wap, bitch! These guys are probably gonna hurt. Ah, no, they're not that bad. Kind of like focus on one at a time. With my ranged units anyway. As long as these guys don't hit these guys. Yeah, okay, cool. We're good. Heal up and keep on fighting. What about, bitch? What about, bitch? Yep. Dude, it's kind of easy taking those out now. The, uh, the level sevens. No, thank you. I think we'll just go to this remains of a disgusting thing real quick. Yep. I don't want to go to the Ivory Sanctum yet. There's still a lot of shit to explore. There's still a lot of shit to explore, so... Yeah, I'm not fighting that level 10 with a, with a shit army. My powers. Battles await. We will win this war. Okay, so I'm thinking... 
No reason to pause. What's going on here? I always did what was right. Therefore, I became righteous. I need Does it to mean concentrate. whatever I do now becomes right because I am righteous? I'm prepared. Let us not hesitate. Should I? Hmm. How long does that last? A minute? A level? Okay. Rely on me. I am here all week. Together we stand. Knowledge is the key to victory. Onwards! I don't know what's actually here, but I feel like there could be some big bads. Shit. Okay, so there's something, you know, I thought, whatever happened with all these fucking things that I picked up? These. Like, do these not fucking go in there? Because it looks like one would fit right there. So there's got to be more somewhere else. Head on. Alrighty, guys um that's gonna be it for for this week guys um next week i don't know if i'll be streaming wednesday or thursday because i have to i have to move like next week is kind of like our last week so we have to we have to move into a new place next week so yeah that's i i'm, I'm just kind of planning on not streaming wednesday and thursday just so that like i'm you know but monday I was planning on streaming, so how far is the new place? Not it's like an hour, maybe. Like I'll be back the next week after. It's just a matter of uh not having not having enough time essentially to to do the move unless I just take some time off of Twitch, you know, take a couple of days. So I'll be back Monday, but Wednesday and Thursday I won't be streaming next week, so just prepare for that. Um, I won't. I don't play this off stream. I don't play this playthrough off stream at all. So 
yeah but i appreciate you guys man um we'll go we'll go to lorthon again because no one else is on but i do appreciate you guys i will catch you guys monday you guys have an awesome weekend and i do appreciate you guys for hanging out you guys are awesome peeps Catch you all Monday, guys. Appreciate you.